Are you thinking of a trip across the causeway for some shopping, mokan, or maybe a restful time of vitamin C? More and more, Jehoboru JBE is turning out to be the place to go for a weekend getaway. Thanks to the strong Sing dollar and a tourism push from Malaysia's government. However, since thousands of other Singaporeans may have the same idea, when and how to go may be key to making sure you're okay. Whether a day trip or a few days stay is enjoyable. Worry not, fam, we got you. Here are our best tips and tricks for your next enjoyable journey to JB. Because JB is so close to Singapore, you can expect weather conditions to be pretty similar. This means it's hot all year round, but some months are hotter than others, so dress accordingly. If you're hitting the beach, you can go practically any time, but the best months for beach goers are between June and September. Check the weather for rain before you make plans. November and December, and sometimes April, are the rainiest months. Tourism in GBE is highest in December, March, and April, and you can expect flight and accommodation prices to be higher in these months. November is the month with the fewest tourists. It's well documented that the traffic to JBE can last for hours or even longer of your precious time, so planning well is important. On weekdays, your best bet is to leave early. Around 5 a.m. would be optimal. Remember that more than 300,000 people cross the land border between Singapore and Malaysia daily, making it one of the busiest in the world. There is a traffic dip between 12 noon and 3 p.m. However, in case you want to take advantage of that, the worst time to go would be between 5 and 9 p.m. On Saturdays, before 5 a.m. is also the safest time to go, and traffic is usually light on Sundays. When returning from JB, you might want to head to Singapore between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. on weekdays, and after 8 p.m. to avoid the crush. Saturday mornings to Sunday early afternoon should not be a problem. But by 2 p.m. on Sundays, traffic builds up significantly and, at times, does not let up until past 11 p.m. Did you know you can take a painless, trafficless ferry ride to JBE and be there in 45 minutes? It's the perfect solution for day trippers. You can read it all here. Then there's also the KTM Shuttle to Brow that brings Singaporeans to JBE for less than 5 Singapore dollars in a 5 minute trip. Tickets for the shuttle, which can be booked here, are largely sold out on weekends and holidays. So make sure to plan ahead.